Hello, this is Mike with Adam Arrow, and today we're going to be taking a look at some new features that we've added to our flagship product, Content Central. These features include a QuickBooks integration, the Reason for Access feature, our new Signatures feature, and then of course our Approval Process Stage Total widget, uh, which is really great for admins to, to be able to review and see exactly what's going on in particular workflows. To begin, we're going to log into Content Central. Simply put in our username and password. We're going to log in as our accounts payable clerk. And then right here on the dashboard, we see our approval queue widget. And we want to go ahead and review this invoice so that we can push it into QuickBooks. So we'll go ahead and click on it right on the widget here from the dashboard, taking us in to view that document. We can see it was approved by the manager. Of course, the time and date that that took place. We may want to review supporting documents by clicking on the packet tab and seeing along with this invoice comes a purchase order and a packing list. After reviewing that, we may also want to review any GL coding or account codes that have been applied to the line items in this document. So we'll click the line items button down here, opening up our area where we can now apply descriptions, amounts, and codes to each one of those line items. Simply click the plus sign over here on the left to add an additional one. In this case, it's been done previously by our approving manager, and it looks like everything's good to go there. So now that we're completed with that, we'll come over, click the approve button in order to send these documents to QuickBooks. What we'll do now is we'll pull up QuickBooks. We'll see currently there's no bills in here to be paid or invoices, but if we refresh, We'll now see that transaction has appeared as Content Central has used the integration to push all the information known about that document right into QuickBooks for us. We can click to view the record to see each of those line items, the total amount, the vendor information, PO number, and invoice number have all been pushed over automatically for us. So now they can easily pay that invoice without doing any data entry. The next thing that we're going to take a look at is the reason for access feature. So let's come back to Content Central. I'm going to log out of our accounts payable clerk and I'm going to log in as my demo user here. And I've got a folder here on my dashboard, a folder widget that I can click on to go review Josh Powers documents. And let's say what I'm doing is um, uh, reviewing some existing documents for this client. Uh, so that we can do some additional work for them. So I want to review this note, and when I click on it, it's going to require me provide a reason for access. Reviewing for potential additional loan. Helps if you spell those things correctly. Go ahead and click go. Now I can see that document. Not only is the, the reason been logged, it's available right here in the history. And we can see that this user requested access, leaving details of reviewing for potential additional loan. The next thing we're gonna take a look at is the signatures feature. In order to do that, I'm gonna come back up to my dashboard. And the first example we'll see here is that we're going to uh, send a document external. Before I do that, I want to mention an additional feature that we didn't have listed, but because it's a, maybe a little bit older, but is definitely a part of version 7.5, which is the ability to view other document formats than, than just PDF. You'll see here we have Word documents and Excel, DWGs, emails, all of those are now viewable in Content Central without any additional software. The really nice part about that is, sure, you can view the document, but if you did need to check it out to make changes, we keep it in its native format, allowing you to check this document, which happens to be a Word document, back out into Word. Okay, back to the signatures. Let's go over to this contract here, and let's send this document to receive a signature. Now you'll note it's three pages. We've got a signature block at the end. I'm going to come over, and I'm going to send this document for signature. Provide an email address. 
and I have a few additional features or choices I can make here, which is the ability to get a notification when the uh, um, signature is received, the, one, the ability to have a copy of the signature sent to the person doing the signing themselves, the ability to define locations where signatures are gonna be done, which we've previously done, so we don't have to do here. And then we can also customize the, the email, the message that goes out to uh, the person we're requesting the signature from. I'm gonna go ahead and click send. And now an email notification goes to the person that's being requested to sign. So we can see here, I received an email. I can go ahead and click on that link and it'll open us up into the document. Gives you some directions on how to apply your signature. And it's gonna link you down. And now on this first page, we're just requiring initials. I can scroll up and down through the document. And then when I'm ready to start to apply those signatures or initials, depending on which one it is, we can apply each of those appropriate initials or signatures and then click submit when we're done. And then the document has now been submitted back into Content Central. Again, any of those email notifications fire automatically and we can see this document is now signed inside of Content Central. All of that's tracked in the document history so it's easily auditable and now is a version seven signature complete. The action was signature submission from the M. Ludden email address, which would happen to be Michael Ludden. Okay, the next thing that we wanted to take a look at is how we can have these signatures work internally for us. So let's log out of this user and we're gonna log in as our sales manager and the sales manager has received a request for uh, somebody to take a day off. So we'll see here, uh, the request for leave. We'll go ahead and click on that. We can see that Mike is requesting a day off Looks like he needs April 26th off. He'll be back on the 27th. Everything looks good. Let's go ahead and approve that. And then when we click the approve button, our signature automatically gets applied. If we come and take a look at that document now, There's our signature. They can customize what their signature would be. Of course, in this case, I've got first, first name and then the last initial, but it could be the full name or whatever their preference happens to be. All right, uh, now that we've taken a look at the signatures, the last thing we wanna talk about is our approval process stage total uh, feature or widget. So to take a look at that, I'm gonna log out of this user and I'm gonna log in as our admin user. And what we'll see right here on the dashboard is we can see uh, the stage totals. There's three invoices assigned to the manager and zero in the clerk. Over here on our contracts, Mike's got 59. We probably need to check in to see why he's so backed up. We've got one in our demo user and 10 in the admin, which happens to be myself. So maybe I need to review those before touching base with Mike. We also have some approaching deadlines for contracts as well. It looks like we've got our account manager who's got 14 contracts are currently reviewing and one that's been submitted onto my demo user for review as well. All right, if you'd like to see any more about these features or something I haven't mentioned here in this, uh, this recording today, uh, feel free to touch base with us and learn more about what we offer with Content Central.